Am I online? That's strange. Discord is not uh, reporting me as streaming. Oh, well, Stream Elements is saying I'm live now. Why is Discord not saying I'm online? I'm gonna reset up Discord. Um, let's see here. Connections. Yeah, I'm connected to Discord still. That's weird. And it's not detecting me as streaming on Discord. Well, I guess that doesn't really matter. If Twitch says I'm online, then that's good enough. All right. You'll have to enhance my gear real quick. Um, I have OBS on, I have Twitch hat on OBS. That's working, I think. All right, so stream elements is working correctly. Still level 49 right now. I'm gonna go ahead level 50 in a bit as soon as I finish. Just putting all of my gear up to maximum I can get. Wait, let me use that fill stack. Try. 300 to go. Put everything to dual. I guess I should put this to uh, Tet. That's dual. One fail. Okay. Put this to pen. Fail, fail, success. Probably don't need to think too hard about the fail stacking when it comes to Naru gear, but it's kind of second nature at this point. Nope, no Tet. Might as well save it. Okay, so now let's try. Get, use this to get Ted, maybe. Use the 16 for pen, might as well. Okay. I am on the PvP server. I don't know if there will be any PvP. Let's say I'm level. 49. This is about to be 50. I should also actually um, 
get some skills for good measure. Like, probably... I think I can just get all of them right now. At least all the low level ones. Yeah, this is all good. I don't have any pots. Could be slightly problematic. But we'll see. I'm just gonna use Brace to keep me alive. You know what? I'll manually post the Discord, the stream alert on Discord. Yeah, there's no one, no one here really. Two people on the road, but they seem to be AFK to me. Just gonna quickly get to like 53 and then go to Helms or something. Actually, there is one person on the mini map. Not sure what he's gonna be up for. Well, I accidentally alted. Seems fine to me. actually have AP this time. And I'm gonna disable that. Although it didn't exactly hurt. Looks like he's coming back. Um, okay. I, did, I, did, I don't think he was supposed to get CC'd again by beheading, but I, probably he resisted one of my CC in the combo. Alright, I was supposed to talk to the Black Spirit. Oh, I should enable this. I don't have um, stealth, I realized. I jumped instead. Where's concealment? There it is. One. When do I leave this place again? Was it 51 or 52?
My note says I stay here until 52. And this guy is not 50 plus. Did the wizard leave? I don't see him anymore. It would be kind of unfortunate. Still here. Ah, uh, yeah, he resisted that. No mana. Today? Oh, yeah, you can do hard aiming indefinitely now. That's always uh, nice to have. Oh, yeah, I should actually try this skill out. I don't really know how, how good this skill is yet. Remember that they did something to it. Okay, well... Maybe it's not good at this level. Oh, he went that way. I think hard aiming doesn't do nearly as much damage off cooldown or on cooldown though. Well, it's, well, it's gonna cool down. There's too many people who I can't kill here now. I'll kill this guy. Did that guy just get... I think this was the warrior that was just here. And I couldn't kill earlier. I think he just got 50. He's actually a lot tankier as well. Both me and the wizard. Or maybe I just don't really have that much damage. Maybe it's me. Why does he keep jumping? I just realized I don't actually have chats enabled. Wait, this guy is not 
This guy is a fucking guardian. Why did I think he was a warrior? Kind of weird without chat enabled. Can't see who I killed. Wait, why is my chat like that? What happened to my configuration? Hey, what's up? Ack. I'm finally streaming. Well, it's the new season. I'm only playing on, on seasons these days, so... Also, the class rework. It's a good time to check it out. I feel like these people are de-geared somehow. Just not having absolute skill is the pain. I need to fix my chat box. I think they buffed the speed of the grab. It feels faster. Ah, I'm a catfish man. It's probably me being ungeared rather than them being geared. Although I don't think they're geared either too. And the fact that I don't have pots doesn't help. I feel like if two people DPS one target, we can kill them. I'm 51, yeah. I, I just need them to help me kill the Guardian. I mean, I can kind of do 50% of his HP. Between resist and lack of skills, it's pretty scuffed, but it is what it is. Am I streaming somewhere else or Discord voice chat? Um, what do you mean? I'm not streaming anywhere else. I'm only on Twitch right now. You mean, uh, like, am I uh, multi-streaming? No. My Montazers are way better than others. Thanks. Glad you like them. But to be honest, I don't know if I really have the time to keep making montages anymore. They're pretty time consuming.
everyone else is playing low graphics. Yeah, I know. But people tell me to also play low graphics because I am kind of screwing myself over in a sense. But I don't really mind it that much, actually. I kind of like the high graphics. <laughs> Remastered 4K. I'll be playing a game with 60 FPS. Why can't I not grab this guy? Probably have that. Some ignore resist crystals would be helpful. I think this guy is just too tanky for me. Maybe he'll run out of HP pots for first. I deserve more views for my efforts. So, there's also the problem with montages being, uh, where I use, always use copyrighted music. So technically I'm just doing them for free. I'm not even getting, uh, I'm not even a BDO partner. But that's just the nature of montages, I guess. I'm trying to make some content that's not copyrighted. This copyright's really becoming more and more strict these days. On Twitch, YouTube, everything. Tune in for the partner versus GM's class reboot showdown. Oh, too bad I'm not a partner. I didn't get any such invites. See this guy, he's buying a tree. All right, see you later, I guess. Oh, yeah, what's this? I didn't even, I didn't even notice. Oh, it's the skill boost thing. I thought that ended a long time ago. Um, fuck, I wanted to s try and uh, get my weapon higher so I can actually kill this guy. What do you, what do I do is 
my college tuition? Uh, I work as a software engineer. Oh, I remember they they buffed the uh, smoke screen. I can use smoke screen out of ghost step now. Ankle cutter doesn't bound in PvP anymore. Oh, you're right. That would actually be pretty helpful. Except none of my combos have ever used Ankle Cutter. I was just like shoehorned in somewhere. You don't think it's that small of a world? Well, I am in Canada, so if you're like in the US, then that's probably not me. He's almost dead. Only took me spamming random skills for five minutes. <laughs> Remote people in Canada? I guess it is a small world then. <laughs> but um... I, I don't think I work with anyone in the US. Not that I'm aware of, at least. So I'm 52 now. According to my notes, I could probably move on to Helms, I think. Yeah, I, sh I could be moving on to Helms. I wanted to entertain the Guardian, but it looks like he's also gone now. I'll move to Helms then. Seems like a good time. Oh, I need to buy carrots now because the oasis event ended.
First time seeing someone use map search. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know, maybe maybe the uh, pros have all the places memorized. You can just immediately click on the correct location that they want to go. Are the class three works out? Yeah, the class three works are out now. Um, I personally haven't been keeping track of the class three works though, because I'm kind of like only playing on seasons. So when the season ended, I haven't really been looking at BDO too much. Uh, as far as Ninja goes, though, I don't see anything too crazy on the patch notes. Like, there were some minor quality of life changes, like being able to use uh, smoke screen after Ghost Step now. Um, and the uh, ankle cutter applying debuff on PvP without it being bound. But that, th those are pretty useful. Grab seems to be faster now. I don't know if that's that useful right now. I mean, it could be useful in PvP, I th in large scale, I think. Less chance of getting CC'd. But I'm not even uh, 56 yet, so I haven't tested any of the awakening changes. But that is the goal today. Hopefully I can get at least 56 before I go sleep. I need to use drastic measure in vacuum now. Um, I mean, I saw that they made drastic measure full super armor. But I don't know if you need to use it because staying too much in super armor was never a good thing. You just get SA traded. Oh, drastic all the damage boost. Okay, so then that's that's a good thing then. Because Drastic was always... Did way less damage than you would think. I felt like. I didn't used to like how Drastic would conflict... Have the, the keybind would conflict with... Um, BSR's... Katana Shower, but since I'm using core Katana Shower, that doesn't really matter. Um, Vacuum Slash, I don't know, what did, what did they change about Vacuum Slash? It's full frontal guard? Wait, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. No, wait. Vacuum Guard was... Vacuum Slash was always Frontal Guard, though. And more damage. Not on the CC part. Wait, Vacuum Slash, are we talking about the same thing? This skill, right? This guy doesn't CC. The last set used to float? Is that like... Back in, um... Like what? 2018? I know it used to float like back in 2018, but uh, at least when I was playing, it never floated. Not that I'm aware of. This is your smoke screen when I try to use brace. That used to be a bug on succession. I thought they fixed it. I started playing ninja today. Yeah, I, I, I vacuum slash. It, it used to flow like way back in the days, but as, ever since I started playing BDO, which was 
around 2019. Uh, it never floated. Yeah, welcome to Ninja, man. <laughs> I'll, I'll definitely have to try out Drastic Measure then, if it's uh, really doing more damage than Serpent. Because one of the big downside of Serpent was always that it was not protected. I don't know if people have better combos now. I, I, I don't even know what the new combos are, if there are any. But it sounds to me like you could just do Serpent into Drastic. <laughs> Let me... I should be able to turn on this one now. As I say that... I think this guy is quite a bit more geared than the other guy at uh, Catfish Man. Nice, I got CC'd by the mob. Nice, he BSR'd 100% me. Okay, I cannot kill this guy. He has way too much DP. I, I, forgot, I forgot to enhance my weapon. I should, probably should have done that. Where's he going? Okay. I swear he did not get second CC'd. That's the guy for the combos. The one you linked. I'm just gonna stay here and enhance. Before I continue. Let's hope this goes. Go try. Okay, maybe I should have. Alright, whatever. It's fine. Easy pen, Naru. Never even draws below 50%. 
success rate. I heard they made seasons easier or something like that. Okay, well, this is clearly not the rotation. Used to crunch to all the back in the days using high stacks. Oh, hey, if you uh, don't plan to use them on anything else, it's not a bad idea. They're like giving out 100 stacks every season now, it feels like. I keep seeing it. Alright, 754. Somehow I don't know the rotation here. Probably because I never needed to level uh, Helms. Yeah, this is way faster with a 530% squirrel. I think I can use the stay here until 56. Maybe. Or it might not be worth it. Because I think I should be moving to Saucens. According to my notes. Let's see if I can kill this guy now. His TP is still pretty high. Are we looking at 56? Yeah. Once I hit 56, I'll go Awakening. But I think I should be going to um, Saucens to hit 56. But I'm not sure if I need to. But it was some, somehow I still can't kill this guy. Although he can't, he seems to not be able to kill me either. I think I'm just going to leave him alone. The only thing that even does like a bit of tiny bit of damage is hard aiming. I'm just going to leave him alone. I just stay here until 56. Let's see. I think I could. My ESP is going up pretty fast. Maybe I should grind this rotation instead, the outside rotation.
Okay, having smoke screen constantly going off when I do brace, that's not good at all. We need to fix that. Because they fixed that for succession, I don't know why it's back for awakening. Should be the exact same implementation. See some people here as well. Do I have my skills maxed out? Um, I guess I could put more here. Everything else is pretty much maxed. Put up Enco Cutter as well. <laughs> like a shy hitting Nova. <laughs> Shy life, I guess. I always seem to be undergeared, though. It's like... Not even new at this point. I can kind of kill this guy, maybe. If I just keep CCing him and not let him get up. There is a chance. Why does he say stop? Doesn't know what I'm doing. I don't think I can even get more EP until I get to Vala. And that comes at 56. Oh. I guess you don't really need to keep track when you can just not die. That's always helpful. I don't know if they like are already 50. Uh, no, they can't be 56 because he's not using Awakening. But I don't know. I guess if you just have full pin to all, uh, then it's just uh, more DP than AP. Or not full pin to all, uh, full pin uh, Naru. She 
TM punish the PK player? I think it's probably that uh, event they were they just announced earlier, wasn't it? The uh, partner versus GM event. I'm guessing they're doing that in the desert. It's kind of weird if they're doing it in the desert, though. When it's like one of the worst possible spot to PvP in. Six percent should be done here soon. Maybe it's the time of day, but I feel like there were more people at these spots last season. Not last season, but the last time I was on season. I didn't, I didn't actually play season plus. I just run by. What's the time in Canada? There's like a bunch of time zones, but uh, it's Close to... it's almost midnight for me. Hope we get more ways to cancel Drastic Charge. I know Ghost Step is the big way. Not sure if uh, how they would implement other ways, though, to be fair. Yeah, you can uh, cancel it out with Ghost Step. Act. You have to um, keep holding it and then re press Ghost Step and then release at the same time. I think I. Uh showed it in my guide i didn't like have a section for it i just briefly showcased it for like a second and 56 The instant charge drastic. I'll see on the instant charge drastic and then cancel it last second. When you serpent into shift RMB, is it considered charged? I don't actually know. Press shift RMB after murderous intense sudden captation or vacuum slash to activate immediately. Oh, when you use drastic after. Okay, yeah, I see.
Maybe instead of a keybind, they could just. I don't know. It's just like remove the delay. If you don't hold it down. But I don't actually know if it's considered full charge if you use after murderous. It doesn't say. Probably will need someone to uh, test it out, use it on the global labs as damage numbers or just um, by comparing HP. You got told it does full charge damage? It's good to know if it's true. I, I don't actually know myself. I have to, I have to take a look. Um, Ninja Awakening. The combo you do includes instant drastic. Seeing all these uh, people. I saw doing these uh, new 2022 combos, whereas I'm still doing the 2019 combos. I feel outdated. Yo, I just got out of work, boy. Hey, what's up, Chase? Um... Are you going to be on BDO? Because I'm on BDO. <laughs> but yeah, I'm kind of like, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. That's kind of my style. I tend to just learn um, something that kind of works in as many situations as possible and I like to just stick with it. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Okay, I'll just mute you. Oh, Megalaw. Maybe he's not actually on the stream. So he's, he's not actually hearing what I'm saying. <laughs> Probably laughing at shy damage on Ninja. <laughs> True. And I can't even do the shy thing where they uh, break their armor either. I'm like discount shy at this point. This doesn't make sense. It makes you come all the way to Calfeon, to Florian, and then you go all the way to Alta Nova. It 
It's funny, 309 AP tried doing nothing to you when you're 379 DP. Does do Shai still have the damage debuff? After the rework? I don't actually know if they um ever buff their damage. It used to be like minus 80% for PvP damage or something like that, wasn't it? I saw that they apparently increased Shai's damage versus Ninja by 30%, which is kind of oddly specific. That they did that only versus Ninja and not any other class. It's only a meme. <laughs> well, if they never buff up their uh, the rest of their skill damage, then 30% of zero is still zero, right? <laughs> I wish I could use my Doom Horse. I don't actually know how there was the one guy last season who managed to get his Doom Horse to work on seasons. It's a weird bug where Shuriken, Malice, Murderous Intent, you stay in the same spot. Oh, because you can, um,. Use quick slot to instantly go into murderous now, right? Is that what they're doing? Hmm. Yeah, that would be pretty weird. Or it could be intentional. <laughs> Cause after cause after Malice you can't um C swap with W. It makes you slow swap instead. So I wonder if that's somehow intentional. That you're not allowed to C swap after mur using Shuriken. You're not allowed to swap the awakening with murderous. There's so many people with this AFK auto-pathing on the Arsha server. We need to bring back knocking people off their horse when they're AFK auto-pathing. I think that would be funny. <laughs> People are getting too complacent. <laughs> Bring me back to the game. Grinding is like the bane of my existence. Like most of my gear um, is from life skilling and pay to win. I, I did pay to win most of my gear. It's not cheap. And even then, I was still sitting at only 290 AP. Fuck. Ah, uh, there's no way I'm stuck.
He even has 20 pen blocks to sell with crons. You enhance 20 pen black stars? Is that the new way to make money? Just enhancing pen black stars? How am I stuck? Oh my god. I'm gonna have to escape. Is that like the new meta, or are you just uh, secretly biohack in disguise? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, same, but... It's gotten to the point where, like, I don't feel comfortable spending that much money just to try, just to, like, be able to actually play the game. Like, I mean, the game is good, but it's not that good. <laughs> Thirty K, yeah. Yeah, that definitely sounds about right. Yeah, hey, like if, like if maybe. This game was the best MMO in existence, then I might feel more justified, but like even disregarding the cost, there's still a bunch of bugs when it comes to uh, desync and FPS and everything. So I don't feel justified to sp continue spending that much money just to be able to uh, play. And have to do that continuously as well. Not like just I buy it once and then I never have to worry about it again because they're just gonna eventually release more stuff. And it's hard to like keep a perfect balance either because I don't want to, I don't like over gearing people. I want to, I like being at the stage where I have the same gear as other people, but I don't want to have so much gear that I become the one who outgear people. Then it becomes boring. You remove accessories. Yeah, but it might be hard to do that when the uh, type of PvP I do mostly involves just open world RPK. Personally, I will lower DP because I always say ninjas don't take damage anyways. I don't need DP. It's 
against AP only. Okay, so I should be awakening now. There's so many skills with quick slots now, though. Like, this is quick slot. Murderous is quick slot now. Shadow Clone is quick slot now. I think I'm running out of quick slot. Because previously four, four I reserve for only shadow. Which, and then five. Um, previously I was using that for ghost slash or ghost claw. But then I six is just kind of hard for me to hit. Like I can hit one, two, three, four, five pretty easily. Six is a bit awkward. Might have like start rebinding. Like I don't know, like G do a quick slot or something to deal with all of this. Okay, so I want Serpent. Drastic Measure is good now, apparently. Shatana. Actually, do I have, have enough SP to learn everything? I think I do have enough SP, actually. I can just learn everything. They also buffed Corrupt Sword Dance and Sudden Decap. So they're just... Full frontal guard now, but doesn't CC anymore. And seamless is still the same, I think. I guess you could still go from seamless into that. It's kind of like the lazy way to DPS sometimes. But it doesn't seem to be that important. I don't know if it always had the attack speed buff. Like absolute shadow stomp. I can't learn this. Can't learn that. Um, I also want the illusion. Oh, I'm not. Wait, no, I don't have enough points. Um. I'll just I'll, I'll remove Fox Law for now. Wait, I'm not even high enough level. Okay, that was kind of stupid. The keybind. Shift R and B after murderous. You can just shift R and B. Don't need anything special. Did they change serpent at all?
Heals faster now. I think I think Serpent's faster now. Hmm. Only one wait, but they removed the damage? I thought they would have uh, make change it back to one wave, but then keep the original damage. Huh? You can sudden decap into drastic. What? It would have been busted? I mean, if you had, uh, if you played on, um, minimal graphics, then it's pretty much the same speed as having one wave. <laughs> what does it mean? You can do after sending it. You have to do like down RMB, like that. What? I don't see how it works after sudden decap. Oh, like that. You have to do the full thing. Then the murderous swap. That's helpful, I think. I guess the um, bug only happens some of the time. With malice into certain into murderous. Maybe you have to hit someone for it to activate. Let me put a uh, pull down slot ten. And here I had I put serpent us nine, I think. Oh, you have to hit someone. Okay, that makes sense. Um, two is where I put the illusion. Twelve should be katana shower. And here's where I would put flashing light, but I don't have that yet. All right, I guess time to go Nagas. Oh wait, I cook. I I can convert this to Tuala now. I think. I'm using search and everything. <laughs> do people really not do that? the game can search for a better pathfinding. I think I should be converting this to Tuvala first. Right? Wait, am I mis am I wrong? I think you I think I'm supposed to convert that to Tuvala. Or do I need to be fifty-seven? Maybe I need to be fifty-seven? Fifty-seven, okay. 
Yeah, okay, thanks. I guess I'll go I'll go grind to 57 first. So I so, so like I swore I could have converted a pen to a Tavala. Oh, junk. Last season was fifty eight. No way, it's fifty eight. Is it? Because for some reason I swore it was 56. Maybe it is 57, we'll see. I feel like 58 would be too late. I feel like you need Pentuala. Or not Pentuala, just like converted to Vala at this point. Or else your APDP is a bit low. And you side in my current state. And they even give me uh, time filled black stones, but they wouldn't give me to all here. Alright, let's see if anyone's here. Oh, and there's no um, oasis anymore, so I'll... maybe I should have brought some water for the desert. It feels so weird using Drastic, I never used that skill. No one's here, though. That's strange. I don't think I get vacuum right now. Oh, I, I also need to disable BSR, maybe. Or actually, I don't need to disable, I can just lock it. Did they buff BSR drastic? Along with the regular drastic? No? That's kind of unfortunate. And I always felt like Ninja's BSR skills are pretty underwhelming compared to other classes. Hey, someone's here. Clearly, this guy has to all the gear. Clearly, this guy has to all the gear.
I need to uh, be at the skill level where the NPC will give me to all the gear. That's the problem. I should actually put drastic measure on my cooldown slot now, if I'm going to use it. It's already so full though. That's something I've I also been meaning to do. I've been meaning to like tidy up my cooldown slots a bit. It's kind of cramped at this point, but never really got around to it. Ninja Evasion not locked? I don't really like that skill too much. I think I'm actually over clearing. I'm gonna try and move to the um Try and move deeper. Like you need to stay awake anymore? Maybe. Although I'm not sure if you would be using Drastic as part of your movement rotation, or whether you will reserve it for a combo. Feels too stationary to just use it normally if you're not comboing someone right now. I'm gonna move in deeper. A different guy? Alright. Where's my Tuala gear? Finally got some damage in. Maybe I'll actually kill this guy because he doesn't seem to be running pots. Just have to like not get CC the single time, and while continuously pressuring him. I'm gonna try and move to the main rotation. Oh, 
I also received a reward here. That's convenient. I think I'll try and stay here until 58, and then I should be able to go to move to Polyforest, I think. Will I stream again with 60 PvP? Yeah. I will. Um, so the, the plan is, I will stream for, uh, I think, probably around 3 weeks for the season. Um, because in my experience, it's that's usually when the PvP dies down. Uh, Hopefully it lasts longer than that, but I'll, I'll basically I'll stream as long as there is still PvP on Seasons. Although it is Christmas, so I don't know if there's going to be more or less PvP this season compared to the other seasons. I'm hoping there's going to be more, but you never know. At least for the moment, I'm not really seeing too much aggressive players. Most people just seem to be minding their own business. And I'm just coming along provoking them. They might already be at Polyforest though. I know not too many people really do Nagas nowadays. But it's kind of in my no that's like kind of what my notes say, that I will do Nagas at 56, but maybe I should update that. I think Polyforce might actually just be more EXP than Nagas as well. I think my thing expired. Yeah. My, um... Last message scroll and the merc mercenary XP scroll expire. So I'm just going so slow.
What's up, Chase? When you hopped into the uh, Discord call earlier, I thought you were in my stream, but then I realized you weren't, and you couldn't actually hear what I was saying. You're on League? Why are you playing League when you could be playing BDO Season? I got the Ceres necklace. I think these things are pretty worthless now, but... Oh wait, they're actually back to 11 mil. Thanks. <laughs> I think they were like down to... Weren't they down to 5 mil? Oh, well, can't complain. Chase, why aren't you making a seasonal character? You might not play BDO, you're gonna focus on working? Ah, the Guardians. Not be taking that damage. Oh, my God, it's going to train me hard. I just did Serpent to Drastic the entire time. But now I'm gonna die to Desert Sickness. Hey, what's up, Anthony? I guess you're convoluted 9 today. New numbers every day. Oh, this was the original account? Why not use the password manager? That Guardian's a sprint the other way. Oh, I mean, like, why not just uh, reset your password for this account and then just put in the password manager? Then you won't forget it anymore. Lazy. That is a next level laziness. You're just... Spinning the roulette wheel every day until one day the auto login doesn't work and then you're, you'll lose the account forever. Tch. 
your greatest contribution to a civilization? Shadow Clone seems really useless now in PvP. I was ho yeah, I was kind of hoping that they like buffed it in a way that it increases the damage. Because pre like in the past, I actually used Shadow Clone to as kind of like a finisher. Because it chains off Shadow Stomp really fast. But now it doesn't even chain off Shadow Stomp. I'm not sure. And it moves you back for some reason. Like... I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll try. I'll try to use using it and see if it's any good. But the fact that it like moves you back and it's not protected feels a bit like uh, ninja evasion now on that level. I haven't found the use for a corrupted sword dance. I mean, that's fine, I think. Honestly, corrupted sword dance has always been that one skill that's like completely useless, as long as I can remember. Like, sudden decap as well, but it was like, sudden decap was kind of useful. Okay, well, that guy's just ran away. He didn't even want to try and kill me. That's disappointing. Like, Sudden Decap was kind of okay as the, that one skill that you use when you run out of everything. And you just want to do, like, a quick damage. Just to, like, finish them off. But Corrupt Sword Dance... Only good in PvE? Yeah. At least before the rework, Ninja Kids had like a lot of skills that were just not useful, period, in PvP. I doubt they fixed everything in one rework though. I'm not surprised if it's continued to be useless. When, I, when am I making this succession guide? I don't think I'll make a succession guide, because I don't really play succession that much. I feel like you need a lot more gear to play succession. <laughs> we awakening ninjas. I mean, I tried out succession when it first released, and I tried it out again for like two months before I quit. Maybe maybe I quit because of succession. I don't even know. It was just that bad that I had to quit the game entirely after trying out succession. But no. It it just feels too uh too damage trade for me. Like you like you was pretty much in Highly dependent on you needing enough DP in order to tank in super armor. You want to 1v1? Well you have to play season then. Why are you not why are you not making a season character and playing League instead? How long does it take? Well, right now, I'm 57. And, uh... How long have I been on? Well, actually, I started from 49. I didn't start from a zero.
but it only it took me like I don't know maybe less than an hour to get to 49. And how long has the stream been on? It's probably says there at the bottom. Take a look. Maybe try uptime. So that, okay, so yeah, so I mean, I guess close to two hours and I'm already 57. But here's the thing, I'm not power leveling. I'm, I'm just leveling myself. If, if you, um, if you can get Dante to power level you, you could probably get here in uh, way faster than I am. Trying for 61. Uh, I think you want 61 at least, right? Because you get the reward at 61. Yeah, you want 61. Uh, seasonal characters can't interact with non-season characters on if they play on the season server. But season characters can go on the regular servers, but the main characters cannot go on the season server. So it's kind of like, it's like a one-way consent, you know. The se on the season has to consent to be on the main server, but the main cannot consent to be on the season server, or something like that. I don't know if that made any sense. Yeah, main is OP on Season. For sure. That's why Season is gear capped, I say. Because you can only have Season characters on Season server. And Season characters can only get maxed up to 2 all the gear. Can I power level you? Gonna have to go with a no on that one. But you know who could power level you? You can uh, you can ask Dante. I should have just uh, let Dante to power level me. Well, the thing is, I was kind of hoping to have uh, find people to kill. You know. But it seems right now everyone is in peaceful mode. I just had two people run away from me. Back to back. I mean, I got to kill the Guardian. And then I never saw him again. This expired. And I also need Black Spirit Energy. If you were in my server, are you like uh, from you? You play on you server, or what do you mean? Or are you just not playing season? Oh, Menna, or I don't know how you pronounce that. M E N A. I don't think you're supposed to pronounce it.
I think I might even be able to move to Polyforest right now. The most racist server. Damn. Sorry to hear that. Your neighbor who got arrested also plays there? What? Because it's the most racist server. Okay. <laughs> Other servers are blocking your country? Yeah, they definitely have region locks. I I'm not a big fan of region locks. I feel like they sh it really shouldn't be a thing. Like if people want want to deal with Saiping, it should be on them to figure that out for themselves. I think I'll just move to Polyforest. I feel like I should be good good enough to move to Polyforest, or maybe I can kill this long first. Bro, what is what the fuck is this? It was like the Flash. I didn't even get to target him and he disappeared. I'm gonna move to Polly. Let me sell this, sell everything. Rift's Crystal. Not sure what that is. Oh, that must be the one where you use to exchange for... This random stuff. This random, it's the small rewards, I guess. Time to go undercover. Can't have racism when everyone's from the same region. Well, I guess you can, right? Because what's this mean, micro racism? If the, I don't know. Sudden into vacuum. Well, like from seamless, or do you have to do it from like what's down RMB? I have to do normal sudden. Or maybe we have to let it go all the way through. Wait, do you have to let it go all the way through or no? Oh, like that. Okay, I see what you mean now. Wait, what does that do? Is this the damage thing? I don't see it. I don't think it's CCs. That's just the damage combo?
Interesting. Okay, that's good to know. And that's more damage than Serpent? We lost Serpent for that? What's it called again? Purified Water. By like five. Why isn't it using my water automatically? And after that, you serpent anyways. We don't have time to use that, though, if it doesn't CC. You have to use that after grab. Because it doesn't work off seamless. So you can't use the bound from seamless. So it can't be like murderous into that. It would just have to be grab into that. Yeah, but you but SRMB doesn't CC is what I'm saying. So after you um you have to like CC someone with something first, so probably flash bondage. I should have used that on the long who ran away. Too bad it sounds cooler than it really is. It's just this. Oh, because I called the lawn the flash. <laughs> nice. Good one. What the hell is this? And sell items from the central marketplace now. Cancel the sudden if start with murder. Does it do that? Seems to be kind of like a regular chain to me. I don't think it can, so it just seems to go right after. Okay, I'll go get um Tuala first. 
kind of wasting my EXP scroll though, but whatever. I'll probably get more by the end of the year or something. Oh, and I should probably clear out all of my, uh, drops that I got. I wonder where they're PKing in the desert. If I, if, oh, earlier. Were they, like, at Fogans or something? Because they were definitely not at, uh, Nagas. Or maybe did everyone just left. Right after the event ended. What am I doing? I was looking at something that I was looking uh, elsewhere. I pressed the wrong thing. Be able, he should give me to Walla now, I hope. Wait, what? I have to be doing something wrong here. How do I still not have the Tuala exchange? Wait, maybe I have to complete the Black Spear quest? The heck? I have to be doing something wrong here. How do I still not have the Tuala exchange? This doesn't make any sense. I have to accept quest special aid, Fugar's letter. Or Fugar's letter. The awakening complete, gift of skill reset, artisans in Medea. Memorandum. I don't see that. I'm not seeing anything in exchange. I did the thing where it like skips all the quests. Just say, let me select whether I want to do the full quest line or whether I want to do the simplified quest line, and I click the simplify, so it just skips all the quests. That's why I'm confused. Maybe I have to do this thing? Speak to the blacksmiths of Altanova?
Maybe because I'm in Arsha? I don't feel like that should have anything to do with it. I mean, I could try going to a different server. Yeah, he here he's selling the two all the stuff, but I'm not seeing the exchange option. Enhance the two all the ring. So now Hmm. It would be weird if I have to be 58. Because I remember in the previous season I had um, Tuwala at this point. Am I, what am I missing? Let me try. Okay, I'll try switching server. Wait, I just accomplished something? Reach level 57? What's that? Okay, I don't I don't know how that oh, probably one of the battle pass. Um Yeah, I don't see a quest line. Let's see. I had a quest special growth from the Black Spirit. Yeah, it's this one. But I already completed this one. And now, now I'm at the level 58. I completed the level 57 one. Yeah, so this is all good. I doubt I have to do Ninja Succession. Uh, let me see if I can find me on Google. Exchange and Naru Pentuala. Make sure the gear is in the inventory and not equipped. Um, Exclusive awakening weapon. Wait. What, did they change this? Use the convert UI? What the heck? What is this? What? I don't even know what that is. I've never seen this. What is the convert UI? Well, that's the sword. Where you, wait, where are you seeing the sword? Oh, this one. Holy fuck. Oh my god. That is so dumb. Well, yeah, good eyes. Nice spot. 
I, di I didn't even see that. Like, it was all blended in with the surrounding and everything. I didn't even notice. Oh, that that's actually so dumb, though. Like, you, can, you can barely see this. I mean, I get that they're trying to make it easier for new players, but I don't, I don't know if this is necessarily easier. I feel like this is way easier to miss. Like maybe if they put it in a black spirit or something, that would make sense. But here, well, I guess I'll finish leveling up the rest of the pen. I just uh, get multiple fails. Nice. Can't enhance Naru gear. I build a 20 stack. Well, not like those are really rare nowadays, anyways. You've got to be kidding me. Alright, there we go. GFG. <laughs> I mean, at least these are free. Okay. Now, I will go to Polyforest. Yeah, I've never realized how much carrots I use feeding my horse. I always felt so free with the oasis oasis stuff. I guess I just grab a hundred of them. I also need to switch back to Arsha. In like three minutes. Now I can bully suck ninjas. No, I'm pretty sure I actually have um, a higher uh, AP bracket than Suck Ninjas on Season. I don't know if they release new journals or not, though. Maybe, maybe there's new AP journals if there are. Then I guess it wouldn't be higher AP bracket, but I remember... Uh, Previous season, you needed like one more AP for the Suck Ninja to get the same bracket as Awakening. You're gonna wreck me? So have you decided to make a character? Or what do you mean? Are you gonna wreck me if you don't have a character?
Now, now that it's approaching 1 a.m., there might actually be PvP, because for some, for whatever reason, PvP tends to happen um, like around 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. <laughs> They're trying to watch PvP content. Well, see, that's the thing with MMOs. PvP is something that happens, not something that you find. You can't force PvP to happen. It just is. What I'm trying to say is that you it, it, like with open world PvP, it's always um, very finicky. <laughs> I need sleep. No, it, it makes sense if you think about it, because it's not like lead. You can't just like queue into PvP. You know. You just have to stick around, and when there's enough people in the same place, then you reach critical mass, and then PvP happens. But otherwise, there's no PvP. You can't have PvP on demand. You have to um, you have to be there when it happens. <laughs> It's more of a spur of the moment, you know, you have to take advantage of the opportunity type of thing. Rather than something you just make happen whenever you want. I look stylish, thanks. Oh, it's much easier to like have a consistent PvP in montages because uh, I always get around like two months of PvP footage. Well, not PvP footage, but like I PvP, I log on and then I play for about two months to get about uh, enough footage so that I can put into a montage. It's much easier when I can just highlight the exciting part and cut out the boring part. I feel like this game would be better if you can just teleport to nodes though. Like The fact that it takes around 10 minutes to go, if you're in Valencia to go to uh, Kama Selvia kind of kills the PvP a bit. Like if your friend is in, um, like, Kamasovia, and you're grinding in, like, Valencia, you know? Then he suddenly calls for help. By the time you get there, the people who uh, try to kill him are long gone. Whereas if you could teleport there instantly, then it becomes a 2v2, and then they can call more. Like, you, you don't have to wait... You don't have to like ex uh, expect them to sit there for 10 minutes waiting that maybe you'll have backup. Yeah, compass would be a huge help, but too bad it's not standard. You have to actually grind for it. And not just grind anywhere, to grind in uh, Histria, which is one of the worst possible spots.
Because when you're in Histria, people don't want to PvP because they're just gonna get uh they're just gonna have to waste progresses. And people don't want to have to uh, waste progresses. I don't see any horses. Which is uh, which is kind of a bad sign already. Did they uh, did they keep the changes they made to Valencia where? You can make like 300 mil an hour. Does anyone know? So I remember reading that they like buffed Valencia and you can like get 300 mil an hour there or something. What is going on here? These people are in the same guild. I thought that guy was AFK. Sulfur and Jail. So maybe after I get 61 grinding here, I should really be going to Sulfur to look for PvP. Because if you can't make that much, then once you get 61, there's no reason to come to Poly. Part is clear. Don't see anyone here. This guy? Okay, well, I wasn't even doing anything to him. Let me get try. I don't have enough for this. Now what do I use? Can I use 14 on this? These chances, man. These chances. Uh, I probably don't want to use a 30. I only have a 60.
Let me build stack on this thing. Okay, well, it just goes immediately. Never mind. Get this to duel. Actually, such a pain, and I and I don't have enough durability to keep enhancing this. But it's it's fine. Oh, I could enhance this actually. I'll, I'll do that after I die. Okay, well, he didn't even get CC'd. I fucked up. I did the wrong thing. This guy might actually die. He V? I didn't see I didn't see him V. I didn't see him V. But he disappeared. was sent to the underworld. <laughs> I'm probably should have paid more attention. Honestly, I think people here have at least, like, Tet. And the fact that I don't have Ignore Resist isn't re really helping.
Out of stock? Fifteen K all pre orders. Really? I didn't catch the guaranteed crescent pen. Oh, okay. But isn't that the event over? Why is it still out of stock even now? Yeah, but isn't it, like, is that event still going on? I thought it ended. Okay, well, the wizard helped me kill him. I just last hit him. Let's see. Let me put on... Viola Scrolls, maybe. Maybe also... Wait, where are my exquisites? I don't have exquisite chromial. What? Exquisite chromials are out of stock too. What's with the market? These are things you would never expect to be out of stock when I played. No oasis, but people are still making them, aren't they? Maybe 300 is too much. Unless they nerf life scaling so much to the point that no one even bothers crafting those anymore. Or Hadoom is just too good.
But I feel like these people have to be at least like Ted to Ola, which is kind of surprising because the game hasn't like season hasn't even been out for that long. There's the combo. 30% HP. Okay, bro. I don't know, I feel like I feel like I should be having at least Ted here. And it's only like season literally came out today, so it's been like less than twenty four hours. Who's coming down here? And somehow the wizard is even more tanky than the Musa. Maybe I can get this to Tet or no, or try not Tet, but even that's not happening. I know, maybe I should just start using higher stacks, because back when I enhanced, you, you just um, tapped on a 20% 20, 20 for, for a duel. Like, 24% was good for duel. I have the worst luck. But I'm supposed to be all luck, no skill. I'm not supposed to have bad luck. That guy rest. I actually just died instantly through frontal guard. Through full frontal guard. All right, new strategy. I'm going to go to um, Bashim's and uh, get Ted to all of first. Like I didn't I didn't think people would be this geared in less than twenty four hours of season.
And enhancing used to be... It used to go like 20% for dual, and then it was like 25% for try. But maybe I should be using... Um, like 30%. Like I should just be using the fail stacks. Because it used to be that if I had uh, 10 fail stacks for dual, then that would be 20%. But now if I have like 10 fail stacks, or not 10 fail stacks, 20 fail stacks, now if I have 20 fail stacks, it would be like 30%. But maybe I should just be using that anyways. Rather than using the uh, old percentages. But the other thing is I don't really need to generate fail stacks anymore. Like back then, those numbers, like 20 for dual, also kind of accounts for trying to save up more fail stacks for you to eventually get uh, 100 for pen. So I should stop be so I should stop being so stingy with the fail stacks and just use them. my carrots. Take them all out. Uh, now I have to write all the way back to Valencia. This 6,500 meters. I don't even have my T at 9 Doom Horse. Hey, what's up, Kuno? I'm just going all the way back to Valencia because I tried to PvP at Polyforest and um, I, I guess people are already geared even though it's day one season. So I'm going back to Bashim's. Gonna grab a uh, the um, regional quests, 
so I can get uh, two all ores. You think they're croning? I wouldn't be surprised. These are that or I'm just bad at enhancing. <laughs> Because with the 300 free time fill blackstone, only managed to get one try to all the sword, uh, short sword, and that's it. I'm bad at game. True. Not wrong. If I was good, I would just automatically have full pin C20 already. To be good enough that the game just grants me 100% success rate on enhances. My montages are got here. Glad you enjoyed them. Way better than low res montages. <laughs> but the attack speed sacrifices. You know, if gear is skill, and that and the uh, damage is gear. And having less F and having more FPS is more damage than FPS is skill. Optimization montages. What it makes sense. It makes sense what I said. The more FPS you have, the better you are as a player. That's why warriors are all so good at the game. I just kill that guy right away. He might actually be more geared than me as well. Well, 100% BSR.
Did not expect that. What's what's my cooldown fucked? Okay, there we go. You can kill this guy with two combos, maybe. Alright, he beat. That desync. He didn't die there. Oh, no, he's dead. Alright, so I need 500 mobs here. I hate push teams though, the rotation is like... Not really good. It's all over the place. Wrong skill. Not sure why he just stood there. But he beasts. There he is. What? He grabbed me first, I guess. He had no damage. Did they give did they give um fucking guardian more resist? I don't know why. I should not be failing these grabs, some of these. They gave everyone more resist? Really? I thought everyone wanted them to remove re resist. So he just went against what everyone wanted and just gave more resist? It's kind of Papega. Wait, where's my res How much resist do I have? I have 30% now? No, but that's from the um, buffs. So that's still 20%. Wait, so I still, I still have 20% base. Because 10% uh, is from Villa. Oh, so that was not a rotation. I just went the wrong way there. Oh shit. I actually did not pay attention. I, I didn't realize there was a mail.
I need to put I need to put the um some cooldowns on my on my cooldown slots. Let me put um it's gonna it's not optimal, but I'll put this here for now. And thirteen will be Drastic measure. Fourteen will be vacuum. They increase twenty percent more PvP resist. Oh, I think that I think um that means they increase the uh maximum cap that you can have for pvp right but not the base resist so if you don't have um if you have like no resist to start with then you're still not going to have any resist i think okay that makes sense but i doubt these guys are running resist gems resist crystals or maybe they are Maybe that is the new meta. Everyone just wants to resist crystal. Yeah. Yeah. I would think that with SA trading being so prevalent, you wouldn't run resist, you would run defense. The Leafs and hosting was 300, 135. Hey, thanks for the host, man. The <laughs> Ninja Legend. Um, I'm just on seasonal trying to uh, gear up a bit. I guess I'm doing this on seasonal Arsha, so. Am I liking the rework? Um, I mean, it's okay, I guess. I'm not really seeing anything too special so far. Having drastic measure is kind of weird, though. I never, oh, never used to use that skill. Well, that guy says something has fairy or made. But whether or not it's like a net positive, I'm no, no, I'm still deciding. Hey, thanks for the follow. So I'm definitely still not like using the combos or the new skills optimally. Like, like it's it's different, but I don't know if it's necessarily better. But that remains to be seen. I have to play around with it more. Looks like that guy got tired of killing me, though. This guy is way more geared. I don't know if I can kill this guy. All right, I don't have I don't have core.
I don't, I don't think I can kill this guy. Just hold up. How do I have solve the weight issue on my seasonal character? No, I don't. I don't. I just um, rely on my fairy. And that's it. With fairy three, step five. Block jump? I think that's what he means. Yeah, that guy seems quite a bit more geared. I don't know why he's here, though. Maybe he's also looking for PK. But this is the place where people gear up so they can PK. You should go to Poly Forest, actually. There was like four people always uh, significantly more gear at Poly Forest earlier. You might find more people to kill over there than here. Wait, uh, isn't there a part two? Oh, there we go. Oh, and also weight isn't so much of an issue because I have like 40 mates. <laughs> so there's also that. That plus tent. What's up, Chase? How did I get so many views? Oh, um, the leaf stand raided me. Thanks again for the raid. So right now I'm trying to uh, finish the uh, regional here, and then I'll move on to the next spot. Either that or I could always just crump to Vala, but I don't know, I'm, I'm feeling lazy. I don't feel like crowning. Although I definitely do have the cross to spare. Waste of cross? It might be, but I also don't have any incentive to play on uh, my main anymore. So they could either sit there or I could use them on season. That's kind of like the thought process. What did I upgrade for my computer? I upgraded my RAM. <laughs> Does that help stream? Well, not exactly, but it does help when I try to edit videos. Because I am trying to like, like I'm, I'm not successful so far, but I am trying to upload content that's like not just montage. 
and to do that more frequently. And when I'm running like two instances of Sony Vegas Pro, well not even Vegas, it's Vegas Pro now. And then Adobe After Effects, Adobe Photoshop. And then BDO. And then 30 tabs of Chrome. You know, it, it takes a lot of memory to do that. <laughs> True. So I have to upgrade it. Well, I should have expected that. Using Chrome in 2021, what do you use now? Opera? More like using Opera in 2021. What? Isn't Opera way older than Chrome? I know history isn't my strong suit, but... Oh, GX. There's a new... It's a new thing, I guess. I, I didn't... I wasn't aware of that. Chrome gives nothing? Um... Mainly because... It was good for the time. And I haven't had a need to upgrade it necessarily. GX. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't even heard of that. I guess I'll take a look. But, like, at the same time, it's like... I don't necessarily need to upgrade the browser. Or necessarily need to change it. It's, it's, it works fine as is, but... I, mean, I could take a look. I don't know how to kill this guy. Use Microsoft Edge. Well, at least Edge is more like it's kind of like using the uh, same backend engine as Chrome, so 
Might be easier to get used to Edge. I don't know if I can actually kill this guy. Oh, I, at least I got the golden backpack for my effort. Are they together? Maybe I can maybe I can convince the hash to kill the Kuno for me. Is that swinging for arena? Yeah, same. I mean, the thing with the rework, it doesn't feel like like a complete improvement, like I was saying earlier. Like, it's different, but I don't know if it's necessarily better. What am I doing? I don't know. I, I, I don't know how to kill this guy. Maybe I'll use 100%. They're not even attacking each other. They're not in the same guild, but I guess they're in the same party. I know, man. They're, they were on another level. I was only doing like 5% damage to them. Per combo. Well, at least they made that skill faster. Like, I they kind of buffed random skills. Like, they, they buffed... I don't even know the name of that skill. That's how rarely it's used. They buffed the one where you, like, smash down to the ground. But no one actually uses that for anything other than just to, like, drop down faster. I don't know why I have this enabled, actually. Or maybe I could keep that on. But I usually like to turn it off. And that's the thing I noticed with Pearl Abyss. It's like, they make a lot of effort. To try, try and uh, draw in new players, but they n never do anything for existing players to add content. Like, all this time, grinding for mobs is still the only content that this game has. And apparently they're announcing some sort of like snowboarding or something. That better not come before Arena. Is that the Kunok I can't kill? I'm just gonna ignore him if it is.
Yeah, exactly. That, that's literally why I'm playing Season, because it's the only non-scheduled cap PvP. It's, but even then, it's kind of scheduled. Because people really only PvP for around uh, the first two to three weeks, and then it dies off. You feel gear checked unless it's in open world non Arsha. Yeah, exactly. And that's certainly why I'm playing Season, though, even though I'm not a new player. It's the only thing remotely resembling equal geared, non-scheduled open world. Seasonals are just good to do. I kind of hope everyone thinks that way, but I feel like there's a, a, mo a lot of people in season. You kind of just see the same people after like I don't know the first day or so. I feel like when I'm playing on like this regular Arsha, I'm, I don't usually see the same faces. It's always someone new, but on seasonal, I kind of see the same people pretty frequently. It's kind of sad, but I can only hope that people discover seasons and play to play it more often. I'm done here. My horse died somehow. That's just great. How did my horse die? I thought I put him in a safe place. Alright, um, so I'm done at Bashim. What's the next place to go? Let me take a look at my notes. Where did I put it? Uh... Why not level my main character? What do you mean by level my main character? Like to 63? Nagas. Did I? I think I already finished Nagas. Or did I? Because I was grinding on Nagas earlier. I'm sure I killed more than 500. Uh, I'll, I'll have to go and double check real quick. Make money on main characters? Well, uh, the money that you make on main character isn't really useful for seasons. Other than, I guess, so I can buy Krongs. But... Kind of defeats um, the point, because the whole point I'm playing Season is because like, I don't want to grind. <laughs> so I was saying earlier, grinding is the bane of my existence. So if I was going to grind on main to play season, then I might as well just grind on main to play main, but that's what I want to avoid.
Do I have a map? I don't have to walk all the way. There we go. People steal all the run on Arsha. Well, I have an excuse because I was reading chat. If you're planning on having a journey in the desert, you will need guidance. And see, the first opportunity, I use the map. Okay, um, I, I forget, did I, yep. does anyone remember if I claimed the rewards from Nagas or not? If not, I'm just gonna go check. Because yep. I was grinding there, but I don't remember if I claimed the rewards. But I guess before I do that... Let's see if I can kill this guy. Or if he's gonna be too geared. It looks like it might be too geared again. It might lean towards too geared again. Gonna e buff and c buff as well. Well, with e buff and c buff, I can kind of make a dent in his HP. But I have to kill him before it runs out. I think I'm not gonna make it in time. Wait. Steve? Okay. Well then, I count that as a win. Did he escape or a V? Because I don't I'm not seeing the V animation. And usually when you V, like you don't see their health at the top anymore. So I'm assuming he escape escaped. Oh, so I think at this point, it sh I should have to pop up now. So if I don't have the pop up, I probably claimed it. It's kind of annoying that um, I can't, I, it doesn't always show up. Like when you're just in the area, you have to be at a specific spot. And I don't know if I'm at that right spot or not. Don't I have to wait soon? What does that mean? What do you mean I have to wake soon? What does that even mean? Okay, so I'm not seeing the pop-up. I'm, I'm just gonna head back then. So then the next spot on my list is Fogans. That's all the way down there.
and I don't have a compass. But if I remember correctly, I should still know the way. Is there a specific way to input the Q block into corrupt? Um. See, I don't actually. I haven't actually been keeping track of the um, rework changes. So I have no idea. <laughs> like I said, I'm, I'm just playing season, so when I'm when when it's off season, I'm not even looking at BDO. <laughs> So right now I'm discovering everything for myself as I go along. I don't even I don't even know you can go from Q block into corrupt. Uh LMB during seamless. RMB to attack forward, so to attack backwards, down LMB. Unless it's with, um... Oh wait, they removed the skill. Where you use Q block and you press LMB to attack. I don't remember what that skill is called. I think they integrated that into Corrupt, right? Previously, it, was, it used to be just LMB. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure then. Because if it was integrated into if Ventral Bear, yeah, that was the one. If they remove that and they put that into Corrupt, then it should just be LMB, but it's not. ESR Sudden Decap is going to be fire with the forward guard. Is that skill good now? It didn't used to do too that much damage, and I think they didn't adjust the uh, BSR skill, right? It got forward guard. Yeah, but is the damage improved? It doesn't. How do you even activate it? LMB while holding down down, down RMB. I don't even I never used this one. Like that. Oh, it doesn't have frontal guard. Or does it? I don't I didn't see the frontal guard. Why is the input of this so scuffed? Wait, why is the input of this so scuffed? Yeah, I'm not seeing frontal guard. It has to be not on cooldown? I'm using the BSR one though. I think you can you can only use the BSR one not on cooldown. Yeah, I, I don't see the frontal guard icon. Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess they didn't really change the BSR skill together with the uh, normal skills. Even though the BSR one should just be like an enhancement of the normal ones. But I think it's fine. I don't think Sudden Decap really did a huge amount of damage, at least not that I recall. So I never I never seen anyone really use that. And I haven't used that personally. So I don't even know the keys. So if I remember correctly, I should be at Crescent now. I should be around here, I think. And Fogan should just be a bit more. There's no way I get lost here. I used to come here so often. Yes, yeah, this is definitely Crescent. Oh wait, should I have brought a camel? They buffed camel speed in the desert, right? Maybe that was the play. Where's target chase? Oh, it's on seven. There's just too many skills that require a quick slot. I'll probably have to unlearn that skill later, though. I need to spend my skill points on uh, more useful stuff. At least the sunset is nice. Although I don't think uh, Twitch will probably display this in its full resolution. I increased my bitrate compared to last time I streamed. But even then, I don't think Twitch uh, has enough. To show the beauty of BDO in all its glory. I should be at Fogan soon. I'm here. And after this, I guess I'll go to Crescent. I think Crescent is the another one that I have to go to. And this is where I got to level 60 on my original ninja. And then 61, 62. I think I was 62 out of the Nagas, actually. Did I get my coupon yet? I don't think so. I think it's still broken.
Do I have to redeem it again or what? Or does it get sent to me automatically? Any ideas? Oh fuck. I just wasted the BSR. Whatever. I don't really see anyone else here, so I don't suppose I would need it anytime soon. I'm pretty sure like, I grinded for like 3 days straight here, back when it was hard to get 61. And this was the rotation I used. Well, it's also the only time I went full negative karma. Because there was the uh, there was the EXP event back then with one thousand percent EXP. Except it sounded much better than it really was. So I still had to grind three days straight. That's partially why I don't want to grind anymore. I like to just grind once and get it done, rather than have to continuously do it. But with BDL, you just have to keep doing it. That's just the name of the game. I see someone here, actually. Wait, see? It's literally the same guy as from earlier. It's kind of funny. Like, start killing mobs. Like, you see a lot of the same guys on uh, seasons. Guess what I noticed. Okay, well, he's just gonna run away entirely. I might actually hit 58 from just doing all of this. I think that was I think that would be the goal for today. 
just um, get 58 and uh, and then um, I'll go back and maybe enhance if I have any mats. But if not, I might just uh, I might end it after I hit 58 for today. There's someone on the upper river, above the cliff, according to the minimap. But well, there's no good way for me to get up there. He has to come down to me. Maybe I can, uh, I could try doing the upper rotation. I don't actually know the upper rotation. So this is the rotation that I always do. I used to always do, at least. I'll be going there just to mess with him. Let's see. How do I go up? I don't even see a place to go up. I think I can go up from here. In before it's another guy I can't kill. Except I don't see him anymore. Let me just run around. See if you can find him. I swear there was a guy here. The minimap doesn't lie. Unless he's further back, rather than forward. You have to make convoluted 10? What? How did you lose the account already? You were literally on convoluted 9. Seriously? Yeah, 
Damn, this guy can't kill again. Going with full buffs now. Oops, I fucked up. It's, it's always awkward when the cooldown is different because I don't have my max skill. What? Oh, okay. CC resisted. Now I don't have my buffs anymore. Now there's no way I kill him. I fucked up earlier. Cause... My cooldowns are different when I don't have my, uh, when, when the skills aren't maxed. So I missed my chance to burst them down. Oh, it says kill me, I guess. This is just disappointing. Wait, I, I didn't mean to spawn in Valencia. I pressed the wrong button. Fuck. Oh my god, I have to go to Crescent. I didn't mean to spawn in Valencia. Oh, damn it. He didn't know Van played seasonal that good. Unfortunately, that was a mystic, though. Not even a striker. And strikers are suppo were supposedly uh, got the most buffs or something like that for the rework. <laughs> How much did you pay for teleport stones right now? Well, you know, they actually cost 500k each, except for the fact they have a one hour cooldown. Actually, no, six hour cooldown, my bad. But I would pay a lot more for unlimited cooldowns. And also, it's just global teleport stones, rather than only being able to teleport to a nearby city. Let's see, am I in the right path? I'm here. Yeah, that should be about right. Yeah, I should have I should have bought a camel. I should have bought my camel. I forgot that they uh, buffed the camel, so that was kind of a misplay. I'm always misplaying. God damn it. Misplaying my cooldowns. Misplaying not having a camo. Misplaying failing my enhancement. It really is Black Desert. 
I don't actually know why it's called Black Desert, because the desert isn't exactly black at all. Nor is the game a desert. Because this is the only desert region, and it's not even, like, half the game. Like, it's, like, it's just here is desert. <laughs> what? But what if it was all luck, though? And it had nothing to do with skill. What kind of comparison is that? That is life. Are you like the weaponsmith in Altanova? His famous quote, life is luck. Or I think that's his quote. And he says, life is luck. There's no such thing as property. Whoever has it is the owner. Whoever gets it first is the owner, I think. <laughs> Bro, the world... It, it takes so fucking long to run from place to place in this game. It's absurd. Kaofeang is big, isn't it? <laughs> Damn, that, that quote seems so familiar, but I can't remember who says it. How do you sub to me? Well, you can't, unfortunately, because I did not become an affiliate. Although I could, actually. I think I, I think I qualify to be an affiliate. But I feel like I don't even stream for a month, which kind of makes it a scam if you sub to me, though. Because a sub is a month, so if you sub to someone, you would expect them to at least stream for a month. But I don't even do that. What do I get for being affiliate? Um, affiliate is what you need to uh, enable the sub button to uh, and uh, for channel points to work and also for custom emotes. Yeah, you, you need to be an affiliate to get emotes. And I would have to commission someone to uh, make the emote. I think I actually lose more money being an affiliate than I make money. <laughs> Lo-fi in the background stream running through the endless desert. 
Maybe that should be a thing. Someone should make a video 10 hours of running through the desert in BDO. And then loop lo fi music in the background. But this is what happens when they don't let me use my T9 horse on seasons. I have a Doom Horse and I would have gotten the Unicorn as well. If you run 10 hours in this, you probably end up in some Porto. That is true. I don't think the desert is actually big enough to even run for 10 hours. You would have to like do some editing magic to make it seem like a 10 hour loop of running. I'm pretty sure I should be at Crescent now. Or am I at Mequin? Wait. I think I'm at Mequin, not Crescent. Why can't I see Mequin on the map? See, the idea is to just hide the compass because you don't have a sense of direction in the real desert and just run in circles. That is true. Now I'm a crescent. But since you always run straight in this game, it's because like the game automatically makes you run straight. Oh, well, hmm. I don't know how. How would you do that? How would you make it run in a circle when the game automatically lets you run straight? But then you would notice. You will notice, like, your, your body turning. Maybe it's less. Yeah, see, even, like, even if you, like, do this, it's still straight. Oh, well, it looks like there's a bot. Fuck, I don't want to die. Alright, there we go. I have to ban the bot real quick. I guess they're getting sophisticated. They changed their URL. It used to always be that one URL, and then you just uh, ban the URL. But now they changed it up to something completely random. I think someone's here. There should be mobs up here. The modern version of the everlasting race between weapons and armor. Bot and anti-botting.
I don't know. I feel like although like the uh, Andy botting is actually more effective when it comes to uh when it comes to this. Because usually in real life, weapons are more effective. But I feel like here it's easier to defend against bot like just like uh, your run of the mill bots. That is maybe not against like a targeted attack, but it's just like generic bots. You can just force them to uh, do image recognition. And then the only way around that would be to hire real humans. Which some of them do, apparently. Like, apparently there are services where you can actually hire real humans to just do the antibody verification tests all day. But then I would consider that more of a win for the human rather than a win for the bot. Yeah, exactly. That's actually what they do. They just hire someone who's like, I don't know, I guess in a poorer country. And they just have them just all day solve uh, like the bot image verification. As, like if we're identifying what the image is, identifying what the text is, stuff like that. And that's just their job. And every time they solve it, it's a bot posting spam for every successful thing they solve. So there's someone here, because the mobs are gone, but I don't see anyone. Oh, there he is. Bro, it's actually the same warrior. What? <laughs> this is so mean. What is what what is going on? What was I saying? Oh yeah, I was saying like it, AI is getting better. But there's def it's still definitely not good enough to replace humans. That's what that's why the tests still work. Uh, matter of time means like the day when um, AIs can solve every possible problem as good as a human, then that means the AI becomes human, I guess, because they can do everything a human can do. I think that is what we call the singularity. At least in terms of AI intelligence. Yeah, but, but I mean, it's like it's easier to like come up with CAPTCHAs that AIs can't solve right now than it is for, to uh, come up with an AI that can solve it. Just doing things like image recognition is still really difficult. Even though we're getting better at it. Like, like, I mean, yeah, Tesla has self-driving cars now, which is entirely image recognition-based technology. But it's still not good enough to replace a human driver in all situations. So that's what I'm saying, like, 
until until the day comes when then AI can solve everything, then that's when they can replace humans. Will that day ever come? Kind of depends what you believe in. I don't think there's really any consensus right now as to whether that's something that's easily achievable or may never be achievable. What do I get here? I get Serpent, Drastic, Batana maybe? Called um, I think the term is AGI, Artificial General Intelligence, but it refers to an AI that can do everything a human can do, rather than an AI that's only good at doing one specific task. Yeah, exactly. That's why that's why there's the singularity, is what people is what are calling it, which refers to like when some AI becomes smart enough that they can do everything humans can do, then they will start creating better AI, which will in turn create an even better AI, until the point where they can just solve literally every single problem. And so, so the day when the AI exists that can do that can start creating better AI. It's when technology is going to change drastically. And that day is marked as it's called the singularity. But there's really no consensus was there were yet anywhere close to that day. And of course even before that day there's always uh lot of problems people are trying to consider, you know, like trying to make sure the AI doesn't kill us in the process. Maybe not in our lifetime. Hard to say, you know. Wasn't there like I remember there was um a post where people were talking about how people were saying that uh flight is gonna be impossible for like a million years. But then we just easily invented and now we have airplanes. So something that could seem impossible but suddenly become possible with a major breakthrough. Or maybe um, there will be enough research into uh, the uh, technology to us uh, halt aging or slow down aging then maybe our lifetime could be extended enough that it does happen The 
the business network horse race didn't expect to be completely obsolete. Yeah, technology can really change fast with one major breakthrough, so it's hard it's really hard to say. I only hope for a good future, not a bad one. How are the ninja reworks? Uh, well, I'm still testing out the ninja reworks for myself right now. Kind of like testing, uh, experimenting with, it, experimenting with it and playing as I go along. So far, uh, I feel like the reworks are kind of like in a stage where they're different. But I don't know if they're necessarily better. Like they, they changed the playstyle of Ninja a bit. Because like you, you're kind of using a few more skills now, a few more new skills, like Drastic Measure and maybe Vacuum Slash. But I don't know if it's like an improvement overall to Ninja or if it's just like it's just like a change for the sake of changing it. That I'm still trying to determine. I'm back to BDO. Yeah, uh, I pretty much just play Season now. So that's kind of like my thing now, since I don't want to grind on my main anymore. So when season comes out, I play for like three weeks and then the PvP dies and then I disappear again <laughs> until next season. That's my new playstyle. Season only player. Well, I don't want to grind on my main because it's just boring. I don't know, like, like I, I, I just don't, I just hate grinding. It just feels too, I don't know, too brain dead to me or something. Like, it's, it's just not enjoyable. It feels like a job rather than a f something that I have fun doing. Whereas, PvP on the other hand. It's something that I enjoy a lot. So it's kind of like, it's kind of weird. Because I'm playing MMO, which requires grinding, but I don't like grinding. And instead I like the PvP. But it's just what I have to live with, I guess. You can relate? Yeah. And that's why, like, I'm going to check out uh, Lost Ark once it releases next year. And if it's good, I might move there instead of BDO. But we'll have to see. Because supposedly with Lost Ark, there's, you can just queue into Arena and it's gear equalized. You don't have to grind. So, it kind of remains to be seen whether BDO's Arena implementation are going to be able to beat it or not. If BDO's arena implementation is going to be as good as Lost Ark or better, then I might still play BDO. Like BNS, I think so. Except it's 3v3, not 1v1. I'm leveling e EXP, SP on Crescent. No, I'm doing the regional quest, which I just finished, actually. I'm gearing up right now. So the next place I'm going to is... Kadri's, I think? Yeah, Kadri's. Or Gahaz. No, I'll check Gahaz, actually. Gahaz might have more PvP than Kadri's. Oh. Although, last time I ran into a guild at Kadri's, and it was like 3v5, like 2v5 for like a good hour. You think Lost Ark is already confirmed bad? <laughs> yeah, good meme. I, re I remember that meme. Huh? 
Um, there's one we won in Lost Ark. I, th I think it's only for your unranked, right? I think ranked is only three v three, if I'm not mistaken. It's only random three v three that's ranked, right? You're at 229, 290 now. Congrats. You're ahead of me. I'm actually just bad at grinding, <laughs> I guess. People are already at Polyforest, like, with Tet to all at least, I feel like. And I'm sitting here with Pry and one try. But BDO Serena is also supposed to be just only for 3v3, not 1v1s though, so I guess we'll see how good that turns out. I need T before I die. I used the 300 HP potion somehow. I don't even know how. I don't think I even fought that many people. I guess I, I guess I kind of did. Because of all of these unkillable people, like that mystic earlier. Fighting those people would drain HP. I don't have the tra Traveler's Map is still on cooldowns, so I have to walk all the way back. Um... Let's see, what did, what did I get? Got some Rift Fragment. I guess I'll put all of these in the bank, in the auction. Some gear. At 252. No camo still? I mean, I have to be out of the stable to summon my camo. But I already summoned the horse. Which is kind of annoying, because apparently the horse and the camo take up the same mount slot. So I can't just like have my horse up and then switch to the camel. I have to put away the horse and then use the take out the camel. I feel like it would make more sense for them to be different slots, but they're considered the same. You can only have one at the time. Let me buy some pots so my screen isn't just red the entire time. Oh wait, that might have exceeded my limit, but I can sell my stuff. Okay, that's fine. Uh, 
Uh, we can put this away. Oh yeah, I also have to talk to the Black Spirit. Get yeah, my next tier of reward. My season pass. I need to enhance my ring to pry. Wait, can I just equip this? Okay, that counts. Good. Good. I need try for the guaranteed pen. Oh, first. Hmm. Do I go... Catrice or Gahaz? Where's my old main character? Uh, it's still here. I still have it. It's right here. Oh, my gear's in my inventory. Because I took it off to uh, record some footage for the guide. But yeah, it's, it's all still here. I didn't sell it. I mean, it, there's no real point for him to sell my gear anyways. Because seasons aren't really that expensive. And actually, I feel like I'm making a net po net profit when I play seasons rather than a net, a net negative or net loss. I just don't, but I just don't feel like playing him anymore. Is the thing because, like, I realized with 290 AP and like 350 DP, it's it's still considered undergeared. It's just um. Yeah, it was just too much. My main gear, I was at 290 AP and then like 350 DP, something around that. And it was evasion build. So that was with Kudum, 290 with Kudum. If I was newer, I would have like 301. And I tried newer as well. Like you, like you and with you and with that, like I, there, there's still people who just you know, full tank me. So I, I have like a video of me um, fighting this Valk in Show Nation. Who was just uh, tanking three of my combos back to back, and it's just killing me in one CC. So more gear than eighty percent of the population. Yeah, but the thing is, like eighty percent of the population aren't PVP on Arsha. Like I, ha I have to match the gear of the people who actually PVP. And it's all, and it's always like the one percent who who who's always going on Arsha. So those are the people who I have to match if I want to actually play. And most people, maybe they do capped node war, which is fine, but you know, capped node war is kind of like you just have to. You can only do like play it once, maybe every every other day at this specific time with this guild, you know. And Note War isn't even really that fun for like half the classes, anyways. It's kind of really favored if you're uh, one of those Note War specific classes, like Wizard and Witch. Whereas for Ninja, it's kind of meh. I mean, there's always clips of ninjas like going into the respawn, doing AOE, killing ten people in one AOE. But I I don't feel like that's fun gameplay. Like I like being challenged, like fighting someone head on, outplaying them, uh, 
No. It's better mechanics. Stuff like that. Like, not just, like, stealthing and then killing someone before they can do anything. Like, that's not really the type of gameplay I'm looking for. Hey, what's up, you Wiz? I'm back on season again. Trying to gear up. Um, is Wally keeping up with gear? I think Wally is keeping up with gear, as far as I'm aware. But I don't know if he's actually like considered one of the um Like I don't know if he's at average gear or if he's below average. He hasn't he hasn't really done anything. Or he hasn't really shown show me anything recently. From my video guide after the rework. Yeah, it's probably gonna take a while. Because first I have to get used to everything. Like I'm trying to figure out everything myself as I go. So I have to figure out everything for myself before I can make a guide for other people. <laughs> But I'll try my best. Okay, well that was just a lag spike. Oh, today has been a bit a bit too peaceful for my liking. Oh my god, I got slowed. Mainly, mainly because I, like... I don't know. I'm, I'm not gearing fast enough. Seems to be the problem these days. Even on seasons. Let me see, see buff as well. Even with Z-Buff. Yeah, I don't I don't know how people are like in are are like enhancing so fast. Like Maybe they are croning. I don't know if that's... I don't know. They could be croning. Or maybe I'm just bad at enhancing. Like, like he, he's... He's probably Ted at this point. Maybe, maybe even Pen on some things. And I'm sitting here with Try and Two Price. But I could also just be bad at enhancing. That's that's always a possibility. But like this is day one of seasons. You know? Like, it's been less than 24 hours for these people to gear up to this point.
day two here. Yeah, I think on the Nay it's day one. So, and, and it's not even like a holiday yet. Like it's the twenty third. Pe people are people get their vacation tomorrow. Not today. So, unless people are skipping work to play season, I don't know. Or maybe they just have a lot of vacation days saved up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, maybe they, that's what I'm thinking. Like, maybe they uh, saved up days before Christmas, but. I feel like most. I don't know. I feel like those are minority rather than majority. Maybe I'm wrong. Is this guy AFK? Okay, I'll, just, I'll, kill, I'll kill him. Let's see if I can kill an AFK guy. Never mind, he's not AFK. Damn, I can't kill this guy AFK. Like, I can't, I can't kill this guy AFK. That that's uh that that's just the gear difference, I guess. Didn't this guy play last season? I don't think so. Last season there was a bad lawn, but not a garbage lawn. Did my games just crash? I think my games just crashed. How does this even happen? Wait, how does this even happen? What? How does my games just crash like that? That makes no sense. I'm not even doing anything special right now. Like usually you crash after you when you try to respawn after dying. I've never seen a crash just randomly. Can't wait to see Grabbin by the booba. Was that a guy in my video? I wonder if it's, um, I, I hope that's not because of the RAM upgrade I did. But I feel like if it was because of the RAM upgrade, then I would have gone to the blue screen and I would have DC from stream as well. But it's just the game that crashed. My stream seems to be fine. So I don't think it would, it's because of my upgrade. But. I died because of that DC. At least I didn't have any expensive crystals. There was a guy called that from last season. Did you see that in my video? I think you probably saw it in my video, I'm guessing. Yeah.
Well, they would have to come up with more creative names, because unless they just decided to delete their character after making it, we might not see the exact same person again this season. We shall see. Am I flagged? I'm not flagged. He's actually... Damn, he actually Z buffed. I don't think I can kill this guy though. This was the warrior from earlier who I couldn't kill. Okay, well he just breaks my frontal guard. And then he sees me. Yeah, this is the guy I couldn't kill from earlier. Maybe if I see buff, I'll kill him. Where did he go? Bro, what? Just another classic example of beasting in BDO. I can keep him at 80% HP. I can keep him at 80% HP. That's that's the that's the play here, I guess. My, my cooldowns are off. Wait, why can't I... What? Seriously, my offhand is broken. I can't even malice because my my offhand is broken. Okay. Okay. I couldn't I couldn't malice or shuriken throw. Because I have ten durability due to failing my enhancement multiple times. On the shuriken. Musa wants to kill me. Oh wow, I might be able to actually kill him. There is a slight hope I might be able to kill him. God damn it. See, I, ha I have to play aggressively. I, I have to just uh, make sure he doesn't heal up. That that's the only play I got. I mean, and I mean more aggressively than I normally would.
There's like five people here all of a sudden. I'm just memeing myself. I, I, I tried to teleport you to Musa, but... It works out. It's whatever. I can't kill this guy, maybe? God damn it. This is the only guy I can kill. So I'm just killing him. What did I miss? I might be able to get the sword. Okay, well, the warrior helped there. Where's Neil? Isn't he with his girlfriend? Or I think he's doing, um, he's doing dancing, right? He's doing dance lessons or something. Pick GF over season though. Oh, Musa's back. You see, if you grind for GF, you have to use it, you know? He grinded for GF instead of grinding for gear, so now he has to make use of his grind. He can't just, he can't just waste all of his effort. It's like Dante, you know? He grinded for Pen Black Star, so now he has to play again. Whereas before he would have quit. Come on. Not even gonna let me come with the Sork? You're gonna go for me? Wait, are they together? Why are they... What the fuck? Why are they together? Wait, why are they... What the fuck? I'm just... I'm just trolling myself. I'm just trolling myself today. I'm gonna watch them. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna uh, Z buff. 
Wait, I thought they came here. Fuck. I guess I wasted Z buff. Uh, wait, there we go. I'm gonna Z buff. Do I have E buff? I don't have E buff. Ah, uh, my tree. The tree was blocking my view. I need to. I need to. I have to Z buff E buff to even kill. All right. I think. I think um, I need to go back to town and uh, enhance my gear because I'm just trolling myself. I'm going to enhance and then come back tomorrow. That that's that's just the play now. Cause I have to Z buff, E buff to even have, do like, like have a chance to do more than fifty percent of their HP. It's it's not even a kill. It's just like to do fifty percent HP. What is this guy here? What? What is this thing? Wait, why are there ancient weapons here? Oh wait, it might, it's a uh, it's one of those events. Like I I saw this last time on season at uh, Crescent. Like sometimes there's ancient weapons that spawn, and you kill them, and they each drop a uh, enhancement mats. Oh, I guess I'll stay here for a bit. Oh, they CC too. Anthony, did you clip the quote? It'll be easier to archive if you have that clipped. <laughs> I forgot about the concept of clipping. Damn, don't go on Twitch often, huh? Oh, that's okay. You can always I can always go back in time. And find which one you're looking for. Reverse flash? What is this meme? I just felt like it was the best comparison I could think of at the time. Now you are comparing everything to the Flash. Yeah. 
And the only reason I even thought of that was because of someone making fun of the Big Bang Theory. Or they used that as a quote to explain why the joke was bad. Or why the show was bad. You know, there's a, there's, there's a show called The Big Bang Theory. Not, not the actual Big Bang Theory. There's a show. And someone was making fun of it. They were explaining one of the quotes from the show who said um was like he'll have to run faster than the flash or something like that and they were explaining using that quote as an example to explain why the humor of the show was bad because it was a really lame reference that doesn't make make sense and that was why i thought of the flash that literally that It was a critique of another show <laughs> about why it was bad. <laughs> so now you are just memeing me with that reference. Well, yeah, but like it's just funny because it wasn't even like a funny joke. Because literally the only reason I thought of it was because of how unfunny it was. Which is kind of ironic. Damn, how, how, how long are these guys on the spawn? At least I'm getting a lot of mats from them though. Can't complain. You're trying to turn it funny? Yes. One of my viewers is a BDO developer? Wait, how what do you mean? Streamer privileges, I guess. <gasps> that would be funny though. But I doubt any GMs are watching. They would be too busy doing the uh, partner versus GM event. Yeah, you have to you have to make a new YouTube video every week to be a partner or stream consistently. And good luck making a new montage every week. When well, it takes me two months just to get the footage. Who was it? Was that video had zero content? I mean, I definitely said BDO have zero in-game content. I don't think I said anything about BDO on YouTube. But, I mean, I guess it's true though, you know? Like... It's just grinding. <laughs> like, content... You kind of need in-game content to have good out-game content. And a lot of in-game content on BDO is just grinding.
Like if I like I I, I wanted to PvP right now, but I, I actually can't because I apparently people already have a Tetuala and I'm just behind. So I have to do grinding, you know. Watching people grind so they don't have to grind. I feel like you watch people grind so you can grind at the same time. I feel like it's that type of interaction. I think most people who are watching streams are probably also grinding themselves. Apparently I'm out of HP pots and I have 300. I need to put in my tent. Cannot place on the road. I thought they I thought they fixed this problem where you can't place the tent. I thought they made it easier to place. Why is this why is it so hard to place the tent still? Like you think with them charging like fifty dollars for a tent, it wouldn't be this hard to use. It couldn't buy booster box as a kid and over thirty packs in one setting. Oh, that might be part of the appeal of, like, tech channels, you know? Like, Linus Tech Tips. People watch it because they buy... Because they test uh, technology hardware that they people can't test themselves. I don't know about BDO, though. I feel like everyone can grind. But people don't want to grind. At least some- well, I don't want to grind. Some people like grinding. The $100 tent? There is a $100 tent. I actually- I actually would pay like $100 if they made a tent that you can place anywhere with no restrictions. It's about getting drops from killing mobs? That could be true. That very well might be it. I can't believe this is still going. How, how many spawns is this? For max enhancement, I guess. So I'm gonna be here all day then. I'll probably need like, what? 2,000? Like 3,000 to all the ores, I'm guessing? I'm that behind, apparently. People are just too good, I guess. Unless there's a coupon. Is there a coupon for two other wars that I'm not that I'm missing? Because I couldn't redeem coupons. And but I don't even know if there are any coupons for two other wars. If only Dante was around. Yeah, he is like the PvE master next to Wally now. Yeah. 
He knows all things PvE. Such as where to find coupons. This is the final boss? Oh, this is Leighton. This is the final boss. What? He can do that? I feel like this boss it wasn't meant to be soloed. Because I'm doing solo. <laughs> I'm doing as much damage to him as I am doing to the uh, guys in PvP right now. Oh, wait. He's just, he just despawned. Okay. Never mind then. Damn, this is just the mirror of my PvP experience. It's people who I can't kill, and then he suddenly they just uh, escape, escape. Like, what does this mean? All right, I guess I'm at 847. This is my fate in BDO. Can't even escape on season servers, I guess. Can't even escape in PvE. Alright, well, I'm going back to Valia. I'm going to enhance as much as possible and then log off for the night. So now we are back to our ride. All the way back to Valia. 6,000 meters. North American publisher. I well, it's not actually meters. It's actually uh, unitless. But it's way easier to say meters than units, you know. Because units is kind of like a currency as well. It feels like a Star Wars things, you know. You, you know, like you have to pay ten thousand Republican unit. For this dropship, I don't know. For this pod racing. It was credits, not units? I don't know. Seems about the same. I'm pretty sure there was at least one show that used units as a currency, or maybe it was a game. I, I swear there was units being used as a currency somewhere. Why does the horse do a little slide? Because I'm drifting. What's this skill? It's called drift cancelling. See, if you just hold down the keys, all it does, you see, you see there's like a pause, you know, it can't keep doing it. It does it twice and it has to wait. But then I, if I drift, I can keep doing it. I can keep accelerating. BDO horses are cars. <laughs> Maybe. But then I feel like you don't need to uh, cancel your car. What the fuck was that lag? Why are horses never fast? Yeah. I need drift and you need instant excel. So you can keep boosting forwards. But this is actually a slow horse. 
My T9 horse is way faster, but I can't use it in season. Which is kind of troll, because the whole reason I got the T9 was so I can get to PvP faster. But then I can't use it in season. I, I need to, like, buy a high, like a really high speed T8, I guess. The black horse from last season? What do you mean by that? I didn't I didn't have a T9 horse. I, you can't use it on season. No, you can't use it on season. So I didn't have a T9 last season. This is the same horse I used last season. Like this one. It's the same horse. Well, I do have a black horse, but I wouldn't describe it as just a black horse. I would describe it as more of a fire horse, a flaming horse, you know. I think saying it's just as a black horse kind of a disservice to its true potential. <laughs> Burnt horse? No, it's a horse that is on fire. If it was a burned horse, then the fire would have been out already. Time to enhance for the night. What? It's like the moment where Wukan first exited the furnace. Burnt, but still on fire. It's more like a hell horse, you know? You know how, like, those demons from hell, they're all, like, pure black? It's like that. There. That's a better way to describe it. I was too young when I watched uh, Wukong's. I don't. I don't remember all the episodes. I don't think I even watched all the episodes. Well, you know Ghost Rider. He rides a motorcycle that's on fire, but he's still okay. Because once you have the power to ride it, you don't get affected by the fire. The fire only affects other people. Where am I, wait, where am I going? Alright, let me try... Should I even try going for... The Wall of Ring try right now? Probably not. Probably give everything to Ted first. He was also on fire? Well, he is. 
Why, you think that has something to do with him being immune to fire? I don't know. I feel like it's more that he's the owner, so the bike doesn't make him... doesn't burn him. Because even if you're on fire, you could still get burnt. Or it might wrong. Hmm. Can you still get burnt if you're already on fire? That's a good question. Alright, so I'm going to use uh, 10 to 20 for duel. No, wait. I want to use 20 plus for duel, I think. I think I want to use 20 fail stacks for duel. So... Should I go... Yeah. Maybe I should... Should I go pick up some of these? Naru gear to enhance with to build fill stacks with. I could let me let me pick up some Naru gear real quick. If you set me on fire, I'll end up burnt. Well, I'm not immune to fire. But see, if I had a, a flaming car, you know, and the car was magic, then. I can potentially get into the car without being burned, even if I'm not immune to fire myself. Because it's the car that's magic, and the car protects me from itself. You have to think of it like that. that that's how it works. It's just whatever the author decides. Well, I guess so. I am the author of the flaming horse. So I'm still failing even on 20 for duel. It's like a 66% chance, but okay. All right, there we go. Okay. Now let me repair them back up. Do I have to... Okay, I guess it's two followers. That's good. I don't have to go ahead and exchange them back. I don't actually have that many two followers. Alright, so I'm gonna use this thing to enhance them to try. This is the guarantee. So now I need Tet. So with Tet, I normally go for... So it's... Okay, so it's 50 plus for Tet on regular boss gear. But Tuvalu gear is one tier lower, so it should be 30 plus for Ted, I think. I think it should be 30 plus for Ted with Tuvalu. So then I, actually, I actually should have used 10 for Duel. Because it's one tier lower. Oh well. But I'm pretty sure it should be 30 for Ted with Tuvalu. 
Let me see. Okay, nope, that's a fail. Okay, that's also a fail. Okay. Alright, well, time to use the stone to get them back to try. You know what, I'll just tap this again and see if it goes tet. It doesn't. Okay, I guess I'll use the stones again. And an F50. Surely this will go tet. Okay. Good. Um, and then I could try and get the ring to try in order for me to get a guaranteed pin. Oh, I only get one tap though. Looks like it's been through an I only get one tap, and I need to use five to all ores. I want to use five two all ores. I don't. I don't think I want to use five two all ores right now. Maybe I want to try and enhance these weapons to Ted first. Yeah, I think I, I think I want to enhance the weapon to Ted first. So first, for a try attempt, I guess I'm gonna look at. Like 20, maybe? 25, 20, 20, 20, uh, 20, 25, maybe. Because 20 would be a dual attempt on the boss gear. I'm going to look at 20 for a try on this one. Let me try and uh, re-blast this up to 20. Never mind, the re-blast went. Oh, that's fine. I'll just use my fail stack then. Advice of Volk. Okay. 48% should be good for a try, I'm sure. Okay. Now, for a Tet. Um, I think it should be okay. I don't think I need to use the 50. I think I used the 30 here. Yeah, maybe I used the 30 here. Because I want to use the 50 for the pen, I think. So I'll use the 30 here for the tet. No, it doesn't go. Okay, now I need another 20. Get this up. Go for a try. It doesn't even go try. Okay. But let me just build up like a 10 real quick. Oh wait, I can clean at the blacksmith now, right? Yeah, that that was a huge quality of life improvement. Being able to clean at the blacksmith. You know what? I'll do 12. Plus 12. For a duel. Should be good. Okay. 
Um, 26? 26 for a try? Come on. Try for a duel again. Oh wait, why is it only forty-four? I thought it was forty-eight. What? I thought I had forty-eight percent last time on plus twelve. Oh wait, was I looking at additional enhancement chance rather than current enhancement chance? I think I was looking at the wrong row. I'm going to go broke this way. <laughs> they add because they added they added like a whole bunch of rows now. Before it was just like one number. Now there's like three. I think I was looking at yeah, it's supposed to be current enhancement chance. Has to be plus fourteen. Essentially. Yeah, so it's like that. Okay. That's why. And now 60% chance for try. Actually, I could have saved that stack for a Ted, but whatever. Is that too low? I can't be too low. Uh, okay. Oh, let me. I, I'm gonna have to go and get some stacks from another character. I'm out, I'm out of stacks on this character. Yeah. Where do I have it? Um, I have it on him. Cause there, advice of Volks. She lets me transfer. That was from last season. Actually, made a lot of stacks last season. Welcome to Belia. Need to use the storage? All right. Let me take my 20. Oh, 25, actually. I used the 20. Go for a try. Seriously. Oh, my. God. And then this goes up. And then this goes up.
it's so mean because people are saying that season is easier now than before. But definitely the that one season I did have always has been the easiest. Thoughts on the new Awakening Ninja with the new Serpent? Um, well, right now I'm still kind of um, experimenting and trying to get a feel for everything. But so far, it definitely feels different. I don't, I don't think it's necessarily good or bad. I'm still trying to figure that out, but it's different. But I still have to play around with it a bit more for my final verdict. I just failed twice on like 50%. I guess that's to be expected, but. Still kind of meme. And I'm still failing. This is pretty kick W. This is more like a ha ha from my perspective. You don't feel safe with 70? Yeah, but there's diminishing returns. That's the problem. Tet? Are you serious? Try. And we're back. No, I just wanted to click one more time. I guess I got too greedy. Yeah, that's the problem. It's it's not like it's a linear increase. There's a point where it just costs a lot more for very minor benefit. One tap to Ted? I mean, honestly? Oh, wait, I, I thought you meant like automatically, like guaranteed Ted. But honestly, a lot of people probably would like it more, like the game more, if there was like... You spend this much and it says guaranteed tet or pen. What? I just one tapped on 2%. <laughs> okay. I guess you jinxed me. I one tap plus 15 on 2% rather than one tapping 10 on 8%. And it's still going up. Oh, is this in the plus 10? Alright. Now. How many, uh. How many two Wallow Wars do I have left? I don't want to enhance to the point where my gear breaks. Okay, 89, that's, that's plenty. Alright. This should go dual. Um, I guess I'll use a 20 here. Try.
Round one? Wait, what do you mean? Everything seems fine to me. What do you mean? Oh, you didn't know what two hollower looked like. It's this one. I was, I was, I was looking for it. This is uh, Rift Crystal, apparently. They all look kind of the same. To be fair, so. Oh, that's the special one. That's the one that guarantees try. But I have, uh, I think, lack of them. All right. Tet. Bruh. Try. Tet. Okay. Okay. Try. Oh, we're back. Oh wait, I accidentally clicked the wrong one. Fuck. Okay, that was that was that was close. I I was clicking on the wrong stack. That could have been bad. It's a good thing that this thing has such a low fail, low success rate. Expect anything from me. I'm going to go broke this way. <laughs> you playing artisan's memory by accident. They change the icons around. Okay. Uh, I want ten. Or 12, rather. And now I'm going for dual. Okay, that failed. Okay. Okay. Tell me if you need anything. Maybe here is where I suddenly go and tap the shuriken. Nope, that's not it. I thought thought I'd change up the RNG a bit. But that didn't that didn't seem to be the answer. I'm already uh, through half of my toilets. Through half of my enhancement nuts. Are we going to go duo or what? How is this possible? I'm just going to buy another parchment. There's, there's no way the numbers I'm using are too low. Right? There's there's no way 48 is too low. Okay, well, I clicked too much. Alright, I still have this one. Like I feel like I feel like my fail stack amount are, is correct. 
it's just bad RNG right now, I think. Like 48%, uh, 44, okay, fine, I'll click it one more. Like, like this, this percent for dual should be good, I feel like. And then this for tri, tri should be good too. Like, like, I feel like these are good numbers. Now give me Tet. Okay. Give me try. Okay. Guess we are back to pry. You forgot what the rule was? Well, I'm pretty sure it used to be 20 for dual, 35 for try, 50 for tet, and then 100 for pen. Okay, bruh. Tell me if you need anything. Yep. They should let you just buy multiple of this. As opposed to having to click them one by one. And of course it goes immediately. Okay. I use my twenty eight for it for this, I guess. No. It's still it that was still a no. I definitely didn't struggle this much last season trying to get a uh, Ted weapons. Oh, and of course, this one goes immediately. Right now, the blue stone, I have. I was just get more from the bank, I guess. Luckily, this one I have a lot. You can keep more goods if you get a house in town or storage. I even sold like half of them at one point, which I probably shouldn't have, but it's whatever. I 
I'm really more worried about running off the enhancement mats. I'm only down to 269 now. Started with like 800. I only got one piece to Ted so far. Whereas I'm going to at least need like all of them to Ted so I can actually PvP. Now we're back to Pry. Alright, well, I have to prepare them again. Okay. Five at twelve. Go for a duel. Switch to the twenty-five. Go for a try. How how is it not working? How is this not working? All right, now it's time for Tet. Yes, finally. And I still need to go for Pen later. Like this is only Tet so far. I'm not even Pen yet. I'll go for Ted first. All right. Now, I get one free pen. I need all of them pen. Eventually, that is. Not right now, but I feel like if I just get, I feel like getting a full Ted right now, I should be able to kill people. I think. So that's why now I have now I enhance the shuriken. If I can't kill people after I get full Tet, then I, I don't know how they're so fast. You think I should use the Krons? Maybe for Pen. I don't know if for Tet? Using the Krons for Tet? Hmm. Maybe. You don't really get that many crawls. They kind of just give them out from time to time. But it's not something that you can actively get for just playing seasonal. Like, since, uh, like, over the past uh, few months, they gave out 500, I guess. Because I have 500 of these. If you borrow a but you don't... It's not exactly a net positive of Krons from Seasonal. It's only a net positive in between where they generously give out for, ones for free. Or from various events. I might have had a bit more than I banked earlier. I don't remember. Like, if I crown this, it's 25 per try. So I don't think I would want to crown tries. Probably too expensive to crown tries. I think try, I just tap it. But I don't know if I crown Tets, though.
You think I should do it just because of those days? Maybe. Oh, my game froze, but I still failed anyways. Nice troll video. What do you mean? Isn't that the same as suggesting to do it? Yeah, but see, the problem is I haven't actually evaluated how much it would cost. We'd have to do the mass or something. Because I have no idea what would be possible. Like how many, like how many crowns that you would use? So the only way to it would be for me to try it out. At least I'm pretty sure I don't need to crown Tet. Or don't need to crown um try up until try. Well if it wasn't for the fact. I kept failing. I'll use a 30 stack. Seventy five per Ted Crons at forty eight percent. I guess it could be worth it. And maybe I maybe maybe it is worth it, potentially. Well, as soon as I crawl it, it passes automatically without failing. Yeah, because see, Ted to Pen is 165 per crawl. So, like, maybe, maybe, like, going for Pen, I would be, like, not crawling. And then the Ted to Pen, that's what I, like, or once it goes back to try, then I crawl the Ted tap? Or is it better to crawl the pen tap? I have no idea. Isn't that more than double? Um, I, I can probably put up a 60 stack. Or yeah, I can put up a 60 stack. I have a bunch of these. Because you get them for free. So I think I will have like uh probably 40 30 to 40 percent chance for a pen. At 165 per cron. Whereas uh, Ted is 75.
I think it should be around 30 to 40. I'll have to put one up to test it out. 36. Okay, it's 36. So if I were to cron here, it would be 165 per attempt. Whereas if I were to cron a tet to a pen, it's 50%, but half of this. So on average, it would still cost 150 cron. On average, it would be 150 cron to get tet if I were to cron uh, try to tet. So it's like a difference of like 15 crons only, essentially. So I think I might as well just cron pen because I'm not saving much. It's only saving 15 crons if I were to cron uh, cron Ted instead and then let pen fail as opposed to just croning pen. So I think I, I think you I just might as well cron pen, I think. Oh, but mate, but no, because if I cron Tet, it's easier to get Tet stacks than it is to get pen stacks. Because every time, because if I cron, my stacks don't increase when I fail. So if I cron Tet, then every time I fail pen, my stack goes up by another six. So it's actually more than that. I, I'm saving more than just uh, 15. So it might actually be better to cron tet then. Because I can keep my, because my snack will keep going up. So my chances go higher and higher. Hmm. I have to think about that. Two sixteen. All right. Well, I guess before I go, let me try and see if I can manage to at least get my armor to at least duel, and then I'll go sleep. You know what? I I I've been I forgot. I should be using this to enhance uh, for fuel stack this whole time. Damn, that was kind of dumb. That I didn't use this. I could be building fail stacks for free. Although it's kind of hard to build 10 with these, maybe. Like, I can get 6 pretty easily. Okay, now I have 11. I guess I'll take the 11. Okay. I just need two fails in a row. But it's just gonna go pen instead, okay. It's so troll how it fails when you don't want it to fail, but it goes up when you want it to fail. Okay, there we go. 13. Alright, I get dual. The Black Spirit dancing, yes. It's dancing over... Oh, he's trolling me. Alright, 216, 235. Not a bad place to end it off, I think. And... yeah. 
Or I could try for the two all ring. I'll try that tomorrow, I think. I'll leave that for tomorrow. I, I'm not feeling it tonight. I don't I don't feel like I'll succeed tonight. My luck tonight hasn't been too good. Alright, I'm just gonna end it here then. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching. And uh Guess I'll be on again tomorrow, I think. And trying to find some PvP tomorrow. Alright, thanks for watching. Take care, man. Um Yeah, I guess I'll just end it.